you demoing today? Uh, well, my name is Simon Winder and I'm demonstrating um, our core tools for augmented reality. Um, so the situation that we want to enable is this. Um, many people have cell phones and if you have a cell phone, it always, often has a camera on it. And so the idea is that you should be able to go to a location like downtown and hold up your cell phone and be able to get information about what you're actually pointing the cell phone at. So, um, so for example, if you're in a downtown location and pointed at a building, it might provide information about apartments that are available or something like that in that building. And so we're using augmented reality, which means um, adding information to the images that are coming from the from the actual cell phone camera and in kind of a live, real-time manner. Um, so I'll give a demonstration of this, a simple demonstration. Um, so here we have um, kind of a mini computer that's uh, taking the place of a, a mobile device. And so we have some software running on here. And so imagine that we're on the street corner and this is our poster which pretends to be a street corner. We'd be able to hold up the camera like this and we'd be able to immediately see some information about these device, uh, these locations. So, for example, here, if we point the camera in the right location, you can see that there's a Ipamina grill and there's three tables open there. Or if we're looking for a, an apartment, it would recognize this location and provide information about that, that there's an apartment available here. So, <clears throat> this is using computer image recognition. So. GPS information is available on most, count, on most cell phones, but that can only provide you information about the local area. Um, but computer vision can allow you to know where the camera's pointing from moment to moment, and that gives us a lot more flexibility. <clears throat> so to demonstrate this a bit further, um, we've um, put together this game which uses this kind of process, and what this is is, is a treasure hunt. And so the idea of a treasure hunt is that you're supposed to follow some cues to get you to a location. And um, in this case, we allow somebody to go around um, an outdoor location or inside location and um, put together some arrows. And uh, these arrows are going to be used to allow somebody else to find their way. So you can see that I've actually just... Uh, I've actually... Um, already annotated this area with a whole bunch of arrows. And um, that, the authoring side of it is that you would actually put these arrows that would be stuck onto the scene. And the arrows are actually going to act as a virtual wind. And what the wind, that wind is doing is it's blowing these bubbles. And um, then a child or something, if we turn those arrows off, the, a child would be able to follow the bubbles to try to get to the treasure. So you see, if we actually point the camera over here, we'll probably get some bubbles that are going to the right. And that means that they flow, you're supposed to follow them to the treasure. Now, the thing is that we're using this image recognition to recognize these previously seen areas and then have this draw these bubbles in a, in a way that allow you to follow them. And so also, the bubbles are um, locked onto the environment, so they look like they're part of the world. And then as you follow them down, you should find eventually that you can see some treasure chests that appears. And that's actually the goal. Thanks.